Hey gang, thanks for checking back into the poorhouse, your old pal, taking up roost right here at home. So as the skies are turning gray, so am I. So we're going with a little bit of a gray theme today here. We're in autumn, so it's kind of time for sort of an autumn flavored, an autumn themed cocktail. And that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, you know this, reach down, hit that subscribe button right down there, and you'll instantly have access to all the adventures of your old pal poor man, either in the poor house or wherever I may be out there somewhere. So yes, it is autumn and uh, <clears throat> kind of hope for better for my dolphins, but uh, it's, been a, it's been a rough year and uh, things haven't gone as we had hoped or expected, but um, at least I'm not a Detroit Lions fan. So that's all you can do. And, and for all you Detroit Lion fans out there, God bless you. You're real fans. Love you. But today, we, in the theme and the spirit of autumn, we're going to make a cocktail for you. <clears throat> uh, I was at, at an event uh, in the last week or two, and they served up this sort of apple cocktail. And I got to thinking about it, and I'm like, well, that's pretty good. But I think we could do a little bit more with it. So, and uh, in true poor man fashion, that's what I have done. That's what I shall do. That's what we are going to do today. One thing I did forget, when you sign up and subscribe, be sure to tinkle that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified every time a poor man episode comes on, which is every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. All right, uh, one more thing before we go. Last week, you guys know, you've been watching for a while, you know that uh, Infused Spirits and, and, and me were kind of partners. And so they just sent me, it's called Orange Spice Infused. And so I'm gonna, I haven't even cracked the seal on this yet, but when I do, I'm gonna make a new cocktail with that. So that is their one of their brand new flavors that just came out, very cool. Uh, I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to make you guys something good for it. So if you haven't tried Infused, really good stuff. I promise. From your pal, the poor man, I promise. Good stuff. All right. Today, we are going to make, in the spirit of the season, Zesty Cinnamon Cider. And that's what we're going to call it because, well, kind of basically is. And we're going to use, uh, uh, it's going to start with tequila. Uh, this is Asombroso. This is their Blanco tequila. Uh, very good, actually. It's good. I tend to prefer like the Reposados, but if you want, you know, straight up tequila flavor, which is what we're going to go for in this particular cocktail, I like their Blanco for this. We're going to use one ounce of our Asombroso Blanco tequila. All right, an ounce of that, ounce of the goods. Then, I don't, but because, you know, this is a very seasonal alcohol, I don't get to use it all the time, so when I get a chance, I do. Uh, this is infused, and this is their cinnamon apple infused vodka, and very good. You will love it. You can, you can almost drink it right out of the bottle. I know I can. We're going to use an ounce and a half of their cinnamon apple vodka, and if you look, you can just see... You can see the cinnamon and apple right down in there. I'll tell you what, once upon a time, I, I made the mistake of, at the end of one of my bottles, I fished out one of the uh, apple rings to taste it. It was not good. All the flavor left the apple and went into the vodka. Trust me, there was none left in that apple ring. Not a mistake I would remake. Next, we are gonna put in two ounces and I've mentioned this before, very close to us, we've got an apple orchard right here in Vegas, believe it or not. And this is the, uh, some fresh apple cider. It is delicious. We're gonna do two ounces of that because we're bold, we're brave, and we're forging on into the future. Two ounces of fresh apple cider. We're gonna do about a half ounce of Mother's Pucker. You might remember this from past shows. I just love saying that. I just do. You know, mother's pucker. Uh, we're going to do about a half ounce of that. 
okay? And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm building it right in this here mason jar. And you're gonna see, this is a very, this is gonna be a very easy cocktail to make, and it's really fun, really delicious. I have one half of one ounce of fresh lemon juice we're gonna put in there. Between that and the tart, it really gives it a nice little bit of pop there, and it, it, it balances the whole cocktail out pretty well. I think you're gonna like this a lot. And it's gonna be good because you can use it and serve it for parties, or you can just do it for yourself. But the fact that you just build it right here in this mason jar, no muss, no fuss, as they used to say on TV. Don't remember what the commercial was, but anyway, shake it up right here, right there, right now. Already got my mason jar full of ice, and and I got a couple of freeze-dried apples right on top there. Because I'm your pal, I want to make sure that you're not getting shortchanged. It smells good too. Uh, the combination of all the flavors, very good in there. Mm. Yep, it's unique, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It is not something you're going to drink every day, but autumn doesn't come around every day either. The Zesty Cinnamon Cider from your pal the poor man. And if you want that recipe, what do you do? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Poormanmike.com. Just like that. And push that button over there, just like you always do. And you'll get a headline speed pass for each and every new Poor Man episode, as well as all that other cool free stuff that you've come to know and love. So, Till next time, pour well, pour often, and you tell them, poor man sent you. We'll see you next time.